come by, you can enable your video and you can start. Yes. Okay. Right. Oh, my name is Kambai Eko. My name is Kambai Eko. I'm getting Kambai Eko. I am from Nigeria, from Central Nigeria. I registered as a Wikimedian in 2018, but began editing in 2016, but never really got serious with it until the year 2020. So we are here to make a presentation titled The Tiap Wikipedia, The Journey into Reality. Um, this session aims at um, to present the challenges and successes encountered before the creation of the TIAP Wikipedia on May 16, 2022, and afterwards. It also aims at presenting some recommendations for one, thinking of starting a small Wikipedia like the TIAP language edition. TIAP is a Niger Congo language native to the central Nigeria plateau, spoken by over 250,000 speakers. The TIAP language Wikipedia is the first language Wikipedia edition from the region and the sixth from Nigeria, a country with over 500 spoken languages. The aim of this presentation is to let the general Wikimedia Foundation community know about the efforts made in getting the TIAP Wikipedia to go live and afterward. The objectives would be taking one after the other. Getting started in the incubator, an application was submitted by me for the creation of TIAP Wikipedia on MetaWiki on the third day of December 2020. And I was helped to get around with the starting of translation work in the Wikimedia incubator by Amir about the same period. As the work advanced, I discovered getting two or more people to join the project was a criteria for the approval of a new language Wikipedia. So I created a WhatsApp group from the larger TIAP language group I earlier started on WhatsApp and five other people joined up and I taught them how to create an account on Wikipedia and three were able to create their accounts, but only two younger participants showed further interest in editing. So those two became my co-founders of fellow co-founders co of the TIAP Wikipedia. And it was brought to my knowledge by Amir also that 500 most used media wiki messages had to be translated on Translate Wiki. And he helped me to set up my profile page with helpful materials to study and learn about translation. And I began working on it. Now, the challenge, another challenge we had was translating modern terminologies. And uh, we didn't let it stand our way. So we coined new words when necessary and translated certain terminologies just for tentative usage. So it took us of, uh, about three, words, uh, three months to get uh, those words translated. And uh, I worked with my new team to create or to translate modern terminologies and drafted a list of words and phrases and submitted it to, or submitted them to the language, TIAP language development board, the TLDB for approval. So those words were used tentatively by us for translation, depending on when the TLDB will give us a feedback on the list we submitted. Hey, who, so I'll make a comment here. So my name is uh, Amira Aroni and uh, I am uh, both a uh, um, volunteer member of the language committee of uh, uh, the Wikimedia movement. Uh, so that's the group that approves um, new languages uh, to have the to create new domains for Wikipedias and other projects in new languages. And uh, I'm also a staff member uh, of the Wikimedia Foundation. I was uh, back then. Uh, staff member of the Wikimedia Foundation, who provides uh, support to uh, new languages, uh, all kinds of technical support issues. And uh, yeah, so with the particular story of this language, it's a pretty typical story of how a new language is added to the Wikimedia world. 
and uh, Kampai contacted me in uh, late uh, 2020, and I was really happy uh, it, because it sounded like uh, Kampai knows uh, the language. So he contacted me, and I started setting it up. And uh, the communication, my communication with Kampai was very uh, quick and uh, productive. So I was really happy to to see that. Uh, can you can you go back? Can you go back to the previous slide, please? Yeah, so this. So uh, this is an important, uh, frequent question. Why is it important uh, to translate the most important messages on uh, Translate Wiki? Uh, why, why do we force people to do this? And the reason for that is that a new community is starting and they want to write a, a Wikipedia, an, an online free encyclopedia in that language. So it's important to for the new community that emerges to be able, like for the people in this new community to be able to talk to each other in their language and use all the terms like upload, log in, create account, category, edit the page, template, and so on. So it's important to create these things uh, for self-reliance and independence and being able to have your, your own community like the same in any, as in any other language, but in your language as completely as possible. So that's why we very strongly encourage people to translate these. And um, yeah, I will uh, let come by go on and, and uh, I'll just make little comments along the way. Okay. So thank you very much. Um, organizing in-person events to add more volunteers. We had two in-person events, about 23 uh, people, new participants attended the first event which we held in a town in the southern part of Kaduna State. And the second one had 24 participants um, organized in the capital of Kaduna State. Um, yeah, so here comes another comment from me. Uh, thanks to this uh, work, uh, with with uh, with Kambai, he, he he really communicated well. This is this is really important, and um, he communicated well about all the technical difficulties that he had. And as much as I could, I tried to address them. Uh, thanks thanks to the work with him, and thanks to very good uh, reports about all kinds of bugs and difficulties that he encountered along the way with working in the incubator and on Plastic Wiki. I tried as much as I could to document these uh, problems, to resolve uh, as, much of them, as much of them as I could. Since then, I also worked with several other volunteers uh, with other languages, uh, Africa and India and Indonesia and uh, other places. Um, and specifically for Translate Wiki, I documented uh, all the recommendations to new people who are coming into the Translate Wiki world and the incubator world. So you should read that page on uh, Translate Wiki, I call it best practices for Translate Wiki events. Uh, and uh, if, if, if I can just summarize the most important parts uh, from the page is that if you're organizing an event uh, where people will be editing Wikipedia or Incubator or Wikidata or Translate Wiki, when you're organizing, be sure that you are experienced with it yourself. This is like, it may sound obvious, but uh, not, not always people are actually experienced with doing this. Make sure that participants can actually type in their language, on, that they have appropriate keyboards, and focus on translating particular projects and not just uh, start translating random things here and there. And uh, specifically for Translate Wiki staff people, like we call it staff, a lot of these people are actually volunteers, but uh, Translate Wiki administrators like myself and several others, Nicholas and Raymond and uh, Abhijit and several others. Uh, we are usually trying to make ourselves available for any technical support that you need. So reach out to us and we will be happy to uh, set you up. And yeah, come by, please go on. Right. So getting started, the TIAP Wikipedia was approved on the 16th of May, 2022. And at, as of that very period, we had over 400 articles at the time. And the challenges of importing templates and modules was overcome by copying and pasting templates and modules from the English to TIAP Wikipedia. Going ahead, we are currently working on a collaborative project with the Wikimedians of Romania and Moldova user group on translating articles from TIAP to Romanian and Romanian to TIAP. We are also working on going for our first post 
Wikipedia approval outreach events to a higher institution in Nigeria within the next few months to recruit TAP speaking students and lecturers into our project in collaboration with the Wikimedians of Nigeria user group. Now, we have a few recommendations to make. When you start a project, stay committed to it. And when you explore, or rather you should explore and learn new skills on your own because not always you would have uh, uh, someone coming to tell you, okay, this is how you should do it or this is how you should do it. So on your own, you can go learn new skills and you know help yourself out. And then also you can search for and join Wikimedians, uh, Wikimedia groups on Telegram because um, in those groups, you'll be able to find people who will be help of, of, of great help to you uh, as a new start, uh, as someone who has just come in into the translation work um, to make a new translation in a, a new language. Um, so over to Amir. Yeah, so another little comment from me. Uh, again, this comment may sound obvious, but um, it's it's really the most simple thing. The commitment, uh, actually doing something about the Wikipedia in your language or the localization of concept wiki into your language, being committed and doing something about this at least every week, preferably every day, uh, if you want to do this. Um, it's the most obvious thing, but uh, it's something that not everybody does. Kambay did this very well, and uh, his friends in his uh, Tiap Wikimedia, Wikipedia editing uh, community, they just kept doing this. Uh, that's really the solution to actually achieving everything. Um, and um, I, I hope we'll have a couple of minutes to speak about it later, but it's quite important to have plans to what you're going to do next, like to, to write some articles, to make some localizations, but also to think, okay, so we have these things now, what are we going to write in the future? Which which articles are we going to write? Which articles are we going to improve? So for example, uh, this example that uh, Kambay mentioned of uh, collaborating with another community of people who write in another language and exchanging articles and translating into each other's language, that's an excellent example of that, of planning something and enriching your own Wikipedia with articles about another culture. That's a good example. There could be lots of others. So yes, please go on. So how does this presentation um, relate to the theme of this year, diversity, collaboration, and future? The TIAP language Wikipedia edition contributes to the wealth of knowledge in an African language. The most used Wikipedia editions by Africans are those in European languages. Some feel left out when Wikipedia is not in a language they could get around with easily. So this could also help certain individuals create content about things they know or could not have ordinarily expressed in a foreign tongue in their local Wikipedia. So this overall adds to the diversity of knowledge and about our future, we aim at taking Wikipedia to the grassroots through YouTube tutoring and in person. Now about the group, user group and laxity, we in the TF Wikipedia, uh, we had our user group a um, few months after the Wikipedia got approved and we have discovered some things and uh, there are some recommendations or some points here that I'm going to state out. Having a user group would enable a community to make long-term plans for projects and resources made available to it could provide for equipment and other necessities for the community. For example, you need uh, a place whereby other people who want to learn about Wikipedia can come in person because some people feel more comfortable coming in person than online. They don't get more serious so when there is a space for everybody to come around or someone to come around and meet another person who is knowledgeable in editing and there are maybe a computer and one other equipment or the other um, and there's availability of power just like yesterday when we were preparing for this very presentation i had to go about looking for um, electricity to power my computer so if we had a space whereby we would be able to help ourselves, we won't experience much problems. 
So the third point is it could also make some communities channel their energies away from the real thing to events. And we find more people interested in events than contributing knowledge on Wikipedia, which shouldn't be. So for this, we are pleading that we must never forget the fundamentals, which is volunteerism, which should come first, because by the time we move our attentions to events, rather than editing the Wikipedia, which we started, you see that the Wikipedia begins to become like a weekly. It doesn't get as active as it should. Instead, we have so much events and no work or little or no work uh, in the Wikipedias. So the core message of this presentation is doing things are challenging, but they are possible. And the success of our language is a proof that it's possible, actually. And we did it. If we did it, you can do it, too. So over to Amir. Yeah, that's it. It's just a uh, it's just a great example, and uh, uh, combined really summed it up perfectly. If uh, the the yeah, community did this with all the challenges, then any language can do this. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. So Zubay, okay. Hello.